Hey guys, in this video what we're going to do is move an entire uh, Joomla website to a new server. Alright, so we're going to be using a component called Akiba Backup, which is um, a great backup and restoration component, uh, which will transfer your entire website file structure along with your database. Alright, so you don't have to do these two things separately. Basically, you install a component on your Joomla site, which you want to move, and you just run a backup, and it'll it'll create this um, archive file. And then you go to your new host, upload the archive file, and run it, and then it will basically just uh, restore the site on the new server. So what we're going to be doing is I have this, um, this site, movies joomdigi.com which is basically just a, a, a demo of my Joomla movies component alright so I want to move this to this which is my new server okay so it's my new um, VPS and I've created a, a user account or a hosting a shared hosting account uh, just for this site alright and you can see that there's absolutely nothing there right now so what I want to do is log into my JD Movies website. Okay, it's a Joomla 3 site. And this is just a demo site, uh, which I forget my password to. So we're going to log into the demo site. All right, now I have Akiba already installed. Okay, so we can go to Components, Akiba. Now to install it, you just want to go to the website, which is akibabackup.com, um, and click on Download. And there's two things you want to back up. You want to get the core component, which is right here. All right, so looks like the current the latest version right now is uh, 3.11 alright so I click that and then there's a, a zip file pops up um, actually we don't want okay alright the way my my um, PC is set up it just opens the zip but this will give you a file to download which is uh, a zip file which is the hell is it right here all right so you'll download this component uh, zip file and then I also want you to download the kickstart file which is right here Akiva kickstart all right and that should just be a zip uh, a zip package and there's all different languages here uh, I don't know about the these languages but for the for English you just want to grab this kickstart.php file all right, so I'll actually just uh, pull that onto my desktop. All right, so basically, to restore the site, we're going to need the, the archive file that we produce with Akiba and this kickstart file. All right, so once you do that, once you install it on your Joomla site by going to Extensions, uh, Extension Manager, and th then just upload it, uh, and then go to Components, Akiba Backup, and you'll see a screen like this. Now, if there are files or database tables uh, on your server that you don't want to include in the archive, you can go to this Files and Directories uh, exclusion, and it'll show you a list of all the folders and files on your server, okay, or, or on that domain name, and you can just uh, choose to skip them or to exclude them or whatever. Uh, in this example, we're going to get everything, so I'm not going to do that. And we just need to click on Backup Now. You can put in a little comment here if you want. It gives us the date of the backup. Okay, I'm going to click Backup Now. And depending on how large your site is, um, this could take from 20 seconds to, um, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Or maybe even more, I'm not sure usually takes me about a, about two minutes or so 
So I'm going to pause it and I'll come back when it's finished. All right, so the backup has completed. All right, so you'll see the success message and you just want to click on manage backups. Now basically you can download your backup archive file through the browser like this or you can actually log in uh, to your site through FTP and actually let me just show you where the backup file would be. Alright, so I'm going to connect to my site. Okay, it's in the JD Movies folder. Alright, so this is the root of the Joomla site and where you want to go to get the archive uh, is in the administrator folder components uh, com akiba backup and here it is alright so by default we have a it's a JPA uh, archive file so you can just take this and drag it to wherever and you'll have that archive file alright now for the browser all you need to do is click on this button here under manage and download make sure it's the correct backup and just click that it's going to warn you that sometimes files, uh, things can happen and, and you won't get the whole file through the browser. But I always do it this way and I've never had an issue. So I'm going to click OK. It's going to ask you to save it. Alright, it's going to download that. My particular archive file is 92 megabytes, so it's kind of big, uh, relatively. So it looks like we're going to wait about two minutes. So I'm going to pause this and come back. All right, so that finished downloading, so I'm going to open that location. All right, so I have my site, uh, movies.joomdigi.com, so basically it'll have the name of your site and then the date after it. All right, so now what we want to do is go to our new server, which is right here. All right, so I'm going to FTP into this, into my new server. Okay, so to log in, I'm going to put in my username, the IP address, password, okay, looks like something. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna go to the public HTML folder and there's nothing there, okay? So what we wanna do is grab the archive that we just created and bring that in. And also the kickstart.php file. I'm gonna upload both of those. All right, so now we have the archive and the kickstart file on our new site, on our new server. Now what we need to do is create a new database on our new server. All right, this this archive includes the files and the database, the, all the database data, but you need to create the actual database for it to go in. All right, so to do that, if you're using cPanel, I'm just going to go to my cPanel and. Okay, so pretty easy to create a database. We can actually use this database wizard. Okay, give it a name. Uh, I'm just gonna say JD Moon. Whoop. Password. Okay, so basically we created the database and the user, and now we're going to link them together. And that's it. So now that we have that uploaded, we want to go to our site. We want to go to the kickstart script, script kickstart.php, 
Okay, so basically you get some info here if you want to read. All right, now it's going to select the archive file. If you have more than one on your server, it's going to show them and you want to choose the correct one. We only have one. This other stuff we're just going to leave and then we're going to click on start. All right, so we want to run the installer which is nicknamed Angie. All right, so this screen just pretty much gives us uh, an installation check, looks at the server that it's going on and things like that. So we're gonna click next. And here is where you wanna put your new database information, the database we just created. Okay, so the, the, the database name and the username uh, is this. So I'm gonna copy that. Uh, that the host is going to be local host nine times out of ten username database name password all right and then we click next and it's basically just going to restore your database okay successful you can see this it all happens very fast next step and this is just going to verify your site name your site email address things like that um, configuration options you can change them here if you want uh, I wouldn't recommend it though because it's usually what you already had at your working site uh, so we're just going to click next okay uh, if you've ever installed Joomla then you know you need to you need to delete the installation directory uh, you can actually do it here by just clicking this red button and then it just gives you basically a link to your site's front end. Okay, so now you can see up in the URL bar, we're, in, we're on the new server. All right, everything looks good. If we click on a link, you can see it goes to that link. All right, so that's how you can very easily migrate your site, your Joomla site, to a new server.